Hi traders and welcome to today's video. My name is Marco Mayer from Trading Educators and AlgoStrats and today I'm going to talk about the most common pitfalls of manual backtesting. So this is for those of you who want to do manual backtesting. You don't want to get into uh, learning how to do a systematic backtest at the moment. You don't want to learn how to code a backtest and so on. But still you want to profit from the idea of systematic trading and you want to have some data that supports your trading idea. So you want to do a manual backtest. There's good and bad ways to do this. And today I'm going to talk about some of the most common pitfalls. So the first pitfall is to go right into your charting software and to look at the price chart where the data you want to backtest, you want to test the setup on, for example, is already visible. So you're already seeing it. So let's say, for example, you have the idea to trade uh, support and resistance levels and you start drawing in them in now and say, OK, uh, here's my support level. This is where I would have been a buyer at this level and the trade would have worked out really nicely. When you're doing that, obviously, you're really cheating because you're already seeing what happened after this. So naturally, you will focus on the setups that worked and you will not take the other ones as real trades that you would have done if you wouldn't have seen the data before. So what you want to do instead is to scroll back and then really go step by step, candle by candle. And when you see a setup and you say, OK, here's my here's my support resistance level just making this up now. That's where I would buy and then you go forward from there and see what happens. So this way you don't cheat in that manner. Depending on your trading software on your platform, you might have a mode like here in Trade Navigator where you can go into uh, simulated trading. So you can go right here and say replay history. You can choose which time you want to do that. Um, daily charts in this case and then you go start replay. Then now it's loading this and then you can go on and, and simulate what would have happened. And while it does, you can, for example, place a buy or sell order. So you could say, OK, I want to sell here, one contract, place order. And the trade is going to be simulated. And after this, you can close the trade again and so on. And at the end, you're going to get a report of your trades. One other pitfall is that you might have a setup and not clearly define what makes it a winning or losing trade. And what you should do at least is to think about when you get in a trade, what's your definition of a risk, and then look how much you profited from there. Otherwise, you will have only a win loss ratio at the end of your manual backtest. And that's not going to help you at all because you're missing the important numbers. How much did you actually win and lose on each of the winning and losing trades? So your win loss ratio could be 80%, but still you could have lost overall. So do your work here and really write that down trade by trade. Another common pitfalls, and that's why I've drawn in a moving average here, is using indicators while you're looking at a price chart. So for example, let's say your strategy would be to buy uh, on an uptrend each touch of the moving average. And you would be quite happy to see, okay, each one of these occasions here, you would have gotten in right at the low of the day pretty much and got into a great trade. Now, the problem with that is that if you just add the moving average in, you're going to see this value here uh, in hindsight. So in other words, if we look at this price bar, for example, it looks like it touched at the low here and it barely did, it really just touched it. But the problem is that going one bar back, the moving average actually was here at uh, 44.25. So the next price bar, now it jumped up at the close of that price bar. But you wouldn't have had that information here. So what you have to do is either you look at the previous value of the indicator you want to use, or you shift it forwards one price bar, what you can do here in Trade Navigator, for example, and then it's shifted one bar. And what you can see now is that none of these occasions would have actually touched the moving average. The same is true for other indicators like the Bollinger Bands, for example, or any other thing that you plot directly into the price chart. So that's it on the most common pitfalls of manual backtesting. If you have any questions about it, you can send me an email to marco at algostrats.com. Thanks for watching. If you didn't do so, go check out algostrats.com, which is online now since a couple of days. 
Pretty soon the free trial periods are going to launch for Algo Strats FX. If you want to join that, sign up to the newsletter and you'll get informed as soon as you can register. See you next time and take care.